Parents of a UW Madison student who died in Rome studying abroad in 2016 have settled a lawsuit with the overseas John Cabot University. That's according to federal documents. UW Madison has since stopped sending students to that university when they study abroad in Rome. But for those who Bo Solomon left behind, there will never quite be any closure. Madeline O'Neill is back from Spring Green where Bo went to high school. Sherilyn and Eric, we don't have details on this settlement, and Bo Solomon's attorney says he has no comment at this time. But the lawsuit claimed John Cabot University officials in Rome failed to adequately warn students about the danger of the surrounding areas after a homeless man allegedly pushed Bo into a river. Now, more than two years later, Bo's loss is still felt daily. I don't ever want to forget. I don't ever want it to be a memory of what I want it to be just I, I, I'm with him and, and he's with me at all times. River Valley High School principal Darby Blakely's office is full of memories. This one's Leroy Butler. But amidst signed footballs and photographs. Oh, and that's Donald Driver, the white football is. One display stands out. It's the first thing I see when I when I come in, open my door. It's the last thing I see when I leave. Bo Solomon. And he just uh, was one of those people that pulled you in. A student Football player, always good for a quick laugh. You couldn't help but laugh with him. And a long conversation. There were always long conversations. I remember that with Vogue. Like, there's no just, hey, how's it going? I'll catch you later. Of course, they haven't caught up in a while. You, you think it's going to get easier, but there's, you know, there, I guess there's moments that I still just will, it'll last forever. You're just sitting there thinking about him and thinking about, uh, you know, what, what, what we could be doing right now. and missing those conversations. Even after Bo's death studying abroad in Rome. I think about him daily. Darby is determined to keep the conversation going. He's always around and, and that's the thing is his impact was so big. I wish he could and I hope he can see the impact he made on so many. He talks about Bo with current students and his own kids. This is my son, Quincy, the one that actually asks about Bo. Bo's number five even lives on through Darby's son. He was, he's actually wearing his number five jersey right there. His baseball jersey's number five, basketball jersey number five. It's, a, it's an important thing for him. While no legal settlement can really bring closure. And a young man lost his life way too early. Here in this high school, Bo is more than just a memory. He had a legacy he wanted to leave behind, and um, he did. Now, in a statement today, UW-Madison says, quote, there is more attention and resources given to safety and security issues for UW-Madison students going abroad than at any time in the past. Students studying abroad in Rome no longer go to John Cabot University. Instead, UW has switched its affiliation to the nearby CIEE Open Campus. Now, not in response to this lawsuit, they say, but because it has better educational opportunities. Now, we'll have more from the UW statement on our website, too. Madeline O'Neill reporting tonight. Maddie, thank you. You're welcome.